global Christian persecution hits 30 year high. As the religious liberty organization Open Doors marks its 30, 30th anniversary since it was introduced, since it introduced the World Watch List, compiling the 50 countries where Christians are persecuted the most, many Christians in several countries face more persecution than ever. According to the 2023 World Watch List compiled by the Religious Liberty Organization Open Doors, North Korea is the most dangerous country in the world for Christians. Afghanistan was at the top of the list last year, but has dropped down to ninth place this year. Somalia, Yemen, Nigeria, and Pakistan also feature highly on the list. The World Watch List, created in 1993, ranks countries based on six categories in which Christians face the most discrimination and persecution, private life, family life, community life, levels of violence, and national life. The United States is not included on the list despite concerns from some American Christians about discrimination and a culture war in the country. Quote, I would say to American Christians that relative to many, many, many places in the world, you have extraordinary freedom, says Lisa Pierce, the interim CEO of Open Doors US Noted. Use it well, she said. Yeah, yeah. I bet you, like, I, you know, you if you want to make Christians happy you have to treat them very badly okay they want that they want to be like they they need this victimhood um i mean i don't mean it like that no 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 yeah, no, no, Armin, no i think you yeah. should be more careful both with the way that you're saying that yeah 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 okay so what i was saying is like um american christians would love to pretend that this is happening to them as well which is not okay but yeah. I, I i do think there are churches in us and canada that see this and they jizz over it like they think like oh my god this is fantastic we would want they go they want to go to their churches and tell people like oh look at this we are you know um they want they use christians being uh persecuted around the world as a way to i mean this is a source of funding they need this right so i mean they, their priority would be if we could say that christians were also being persecuted in north america but they could do with this. They could be like, you could, we could make something out of this. You know, we could make a couple of sermons out of this and t- tell people about how bad we have it. But again, this is a huge problem. I don't want to dismiss how big of a problem. Yeah, or, well, I think it's complicated. Like, if I was actually thinking today, as I was preparing for this news story, that if American Christians, if this actually was their priority in what they mm. focused on and pushed into the culture, and, like I would have so much more respect than what we see in America nowadays, because this is people who face legitimate, violent oppression and persecution for the basis of their belief. That is a violation of the fundamental human right as enshrined in multiple treaties of international law. Right. Right. And we can, in many of these forms of persecution happen within the context of a lack of true secularism in the nations in which these are established. So I'm like, oh my God, like there's such a potential for us and them to be on the same page because most of the places where these Christians are being persecuted so heavily are Islamic countries. Yes, yes, yes. So but, but, like but... we actually have a lot of shared values and shared interest in the protection of religious I'm... minorities or minority belief based minorities, as I prefer to say, I... because it's more inclusive of non religious people. But that's like not what we see in the American zeitgeist, which is like frustrating. And I just have well... to say, like, if, if the fact that the CEO of this organization, this NGO, has to say, to American Christians, you guys have extraordinary freedom. Like the fact that she is like getting pushback from American Christians about this, I think shows like a exactly. level of such severe delusion. You think you can hold a candle to what a Pakistani Christian goes to? Get the fuck out of here. Like you're get out. I mean, like, oh sorry. I'm using bad language, but come on. Okay, okay, but I am actually even more pessimistic than you, okay? 
So, yes, the Christians in the United States, they like to be the victims, a lot of them, and they're not, okay? But what I'm trying to say is that even the ones, you're like, oh, I wish they were focusing on this, okay? I'm like, no, 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 Susanna, okay? Because the ones who do focus on this, a lot of them, okay, I don't want to say all, okay? They're not focusing on this because they're trying to be helpful. And because they they use like for example let's say you go to a church and we're like oh my god christians in egypt poor christians in egypt please give us money so we could help them okay and the, they raise money using other christians misery okay and the money is spent on i don't know sending them bibles or like building them a goddamn church and mm. it's not it's not it doesn't go towards reducing their pain because that is their source of funding okay it just was like oh you know like they they you know they were they, they you know they were masturbating over um videos of you know poor christians in china getting bibles i mean like oh they were sending them bibles like oh my you know they're being hunted down by the government and this is a this yeah this is what they need they need more bibles this is what's going to help them right so um, or building them a church where, but like you, you could have, if you, if they're being hunted down, there are a lot more worthy investments into trying to, you know, legal protection, for example, exactly. you know, fight or the like, systems it, that allow for this persecution to begin with. Yeah. Or investigations or like anything else that makes them able to fight themselves. But no, no, no. What do you do? You build them a church. Okay. So so i don't think like even even when christians do focus on christians other christians who need support i don't see them doing things that are helpful to their to their pain so. yeah i think i would just like to put a little asterisk on that because i think that i mean as someone who is involved with dealing with cases of people that are persecuted on the basis of their non-belief like I mean, granted, the resources that are available in the atheist community are infinitesimal in comparison to what's available to the Christian community, right? But when you're actually doing the hands-on work, like, you realize that you're so limited in what you can do to change the greater society. So sometimes the best you can do is just triage certain cases as they come up. And that's, like still very valuable because that's life-changing to the people that can receive that triaged care to handle like in the casework that goes into that and so like i don't think we should just completely dismiss like people that do that on a religious basis because that's extremely difficult work and um but in general you're right and i was you know i i grew grew up around these stories where you just talk about the people going into north korea to bring bibles and da 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 like it still very much has an evangelizing lens to it often um me just being sensitive to the people that do casework for refugees i know they're not all that way um but d is um saying this is really sad i'm glad we've reported on this especially in nigeria yeah the, that's actually one thing they talked about in the report is that things have gotten so much more severe in Nigeria recently, especially within the past year. And there's another story I want to cover about what happened in Nigeria, I think, next week, um, because the anti-Christian persecution there is getting really bad. And Prometheus is saying, where is India on the list? We still can't make the list despite all the <laughs> efforts. Um, India was ranked number 11 on the list. So India did wow. not make the top 10. So even um, in a country where they're hunting down Santas because it's too Christian, we have still 10 other countries that is worse than that. Okay. Yeah. That's bad. Pakistan ranked number six. Pakistan is ranked. Wow. Above. There are Pakistan five countries worse than Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, oh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you, <laughs> I kind of want to make a joke, but it's so inappropriate. Okay. <laughs> um, this is like you know you know pakistan and india have like a, a a toxic sibling rivalry okay but let's not turn this into a competition okay this Wait, is the thing where one? you want to be ranked lower who's um, number one but pakistan is ranked more highly above afghanistan for this year oh 
but North Korea is actually ranked number one this year yeah. because they have some new laws against anti-revolutionary thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's number two? Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. I can pull it up in a second. I'm very curious. No, who's number two? Should I, Guys, should before... I give you the top ten? I can give you the top yeah. ten. No, no, just give me the top five. And before before Susanna gives us the top five, after guess people in the live chat, who do what country do you think comes after North Korea? Oh, okay. excuse me. Pakistan is number seven. Nigeria is number six. Okay. Okay, let's let's get the top five what? in order. North Korea, Somalia, Yemen, Eritrea, and Libya. Somalia. Okay. Is number two. No, Somalia is number two. Okay, okay. What's number three again? Yemen. Yemen. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Failed states. Mostly. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.